tell us about these microelectronics that you developed for this, uh, for the ultralight and LSA market. Sure. Uh, what we've done is we've just introduced 10 new avionic products, and all of them share some common characteristics. They're extremely light. Uh, they run off of uh, any sort of aircraft power that you can find. And uh, what we've done is we've basically recreated or created a new look on almost all of the classic instruments. I have a panel right here, which uh, I'll show you. Uh, and as an example, we've got, what is it, eight instruments on this particular panel, uh, covering everything from volts to the classic bubble level to a turn and bank to EGT to uh, airspeed. They're all here. What was it that led you to develop this line of instruments? Well, of course, we're working in part 103 with our aircraft. We also saw a pretty good market opportunity in experimentals as well and home builds. And we just figured that there would be a pretty good demand for state-of-the-art electronic instruments that were not nearly as complicated, expensive, or hard to use as all the big glass stuff was. And I've proved it now. We've come through in the whole panel, including the metal, weighs uh, less than 12 ounces. Everything in my hand weighs less than 12 ounces. So we just wanted to have uh, good, inexpensive, very high quality instruments at low prices that anyone could use. First product that I'm going to show you is our fuel gauge. This fuel gauge is one and three quarter inch square and it runs off of any sort of electrical power that you'd find in your airplane. The bottom lights are bright red and then it switches to yellow as you go up the scale. Uh, Inexpensive, easy to mount, and it works not only with the square bezel, it also works with a classic two and a quarter inch bezel, so you can install it in any sort of instrument hole. This one is our brand new AGL altimeter, above ground level altimeter. Most of the guys who are flying low and slow aren't really interested in absolute altitude. What they're interested in knowing is how far they are above the ground. For instance, we're at Sun and Fun, and at the pilot briefing this morning, they told us to keep it between 200 feet and 500 feet above ground level. So all you gotta do is when you're sitting on the runway in your airplane is hit this button to zero it, and then as you ascend, uh, you'll see the lights go up. Since we're in a building now, it's kinda hard to ascend, but we can simulate that simply by If you own a Cirrus today or if you are considering the purchase of a new or used aircraft, consider this. Avidine, in conjunction with the country's leading Cirrus sales and maintenance facilities, has launched the G3R9 program that combines the purchase of a late model, low time Cirrus aircraft and the addition of the Avidine Integra Release 9 avionics suite for much less than you may have thought, and certainly much less than purchasing a brand new aircraft. G3R9, combining the best airframe, best engine, and best avionics for the best value. This one here is uh, one of my favorites. It's a turn rate indicator. And it is just like a classic turn rate indicator. We have a view of a standard aircraft in the middle of our display. And it's yaw sensitive. So for instance, as I yaw, that way I can establish a standard rate turn. And if I yaw in the other direction, it goes in the opposite direction. If you exceed four and a half degrees per second, the display will blank. So if we exceed in either direction, the display just turns off. This next instrument that I'm showing you is our uh, airspeed indicator. Uh, super simple, very accurate, and the bottom is set with a red light, and we've set a red line on here with a red light as well. Now I'm going to simulate being a pitot tube simply by blowing gently into the fitting. Here we go. This here is a complete panel. It's got eight instruments mounted on it. The only one that we've got hooked up here is the volts. And you can see that our battery pack right now is giving us 11.5 volts. We've got this set up here on the voltmeter so that if you go too high or too low on your volts, it'll switch from the bright yellow to an even brighter red. That way you'd know that you're getting an unacceptable discharge out of your battery or perhaps you've had a voltage regulator failure on your airplane. We try and use color wherever we can to indicate that there's a problem or something that needs attention. Cute little display. This whole panel here weighs about 12 ounces. But what we've got here is a vertical speed indicator, just a classic instrument. In normal flight, you'd be at zero uh, in steady flight. As you descend, the lights go down, and as you ascend, the lights go up. I apologize that we're not hooked up. Uh, we've got it set up so that the center light is yellow, and the ones on either side are bright red. So if you're maintaining a steady uh, flight, 
and you start to deviate from altitude, you're going to get a bright red light immediately, whether you go up or down. I thought that'd be handy to alert pilots to keep it on altitude. And there's nothing to it. You just hook it up to power, and it works. Absolutely nothing to this product at all other than hooking up power. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. This product here is just great for showing the bumps. Most of the G-meters that are in the market sell for several hundred dollars. And most guys are really not interested in doing aerobatic Gs. They just want to look down and see how big the last bump was when they hit a big piece of turbulence. I'll shake this up just a little bit. And you can see here that we get a red light. And then as it settles down below two Gs, it switches back to yellow. Let me do that one more time a little stronger. If I hit that reset button, it zeroes back down to 1G automatically. So it's inexpensive, works great. You can get it in a little box, or you can get it for a panel mount, uh, and I think a lot of guys are just gonna like it, because it's fun. Here we've got a classic uh, bubble level, turn and bank indicator, or bubble level, and I just enjoy playing with this, because as we move it left and right, it shows us our slip and skid. It's exactly the same as a bubble level. Step on the ball to correct the condition. And this one also, we've got it wired up so you can see the difference between bright, dim, and off. You can do this with all of them, but this is the only one that we've got hooked up this way. This whole panel is a power miser. You can run it for hours on just AA batteries. The whole panel uses just three watts. So Jim, what kind of reaction have you gotten to these instruments so far here at Sun and Fun? <laughs> We've gotten great reaction. I think people are blown away with the weight uh, and the functionality and especially the price point of the products. They're looking at a complete panel for 800 bucks and they're saying, wow, you know, never seen anything like that before. So also we're hearing about other markets that we need to be in. We come out of ultralight, people are here in experimental. Guys flying uh, certified want to put boxes which we have into, you know, stick them on their dash, they can do that. And then a couple other markets are out there too. I heard about the glider market today. For instance, the VSI weighs nothing and all the pilot, all the glider guys want to see that kind of thing. So yeah, we're getting great feedback off of people. James Weeby from Beelight Aircraft and Beelight Electronics, thanks very much for talking with us on Aero News. Thank you very much, it's been my pleasure.